So today we're going to be doing suburban homesteading. Now, personally, I would have wished for this video to have come a lot earlier in our series <clears throat> or in our videos, but the primary reason why we're just now getting around to our suburban homestead update is because in another video I mentioned that we lost our horse Mosby and <clears throat> so we were kind of hesitant, Ashley and I, to uh, do a video about talking about everything and the horses that we had and all that just for one to up and die. As it tragically turns out, <clears throat> one did up and die. So anyways, now we can kind of get into suburban homesteading and talking about <clears throat> what Ashley and I have for a horse kind of set up and everything, the additions we've made <clears throat> since our first crowd update. So as you can probably see where we're standing, we did actually buy panels and you guys can see them all around us. We do have a panel pen. Now, unfortunately, this panel pen is going to remain inactive until more horses or generally it's an emergency pen now because this is where Mosby used to stay. And as you guys know, he's passed on. He's no longer <clears throat> with us. So this is just kind of sitting inactive and just kind of ready for whatever but we still have the panel pen here. Now let's move on to another part. So the next part to the panel pen, or not panel pen, but the next part to the homestead is a hay shed. And this is our dual purpose shed here. This is a shelter logic uh, six by six. And in the winter time, it doubles for us as a extra hay shed, hay storage shed. And it also in the summer doubles as our tack shed so we can have our bridles, our um, <clears throat> our bridles, our saddles, our, all our different tack equipment uh, in this right here. <clears throat> so next to our conveniently located hay shed over here is our larger pen or paddock, whatever you want to call it. Now this has all electric fencing around it and it is double stranded. Now you guys can see our two other horses that <clears throat> haven't necessarily been formally introduced to the channel. This first one right here, the nosy one that is loud, is uh, Bluebell. And the next horse that you see behind her is Sophia. These are the two horses that are we're going to continue to work with, that we're going to continue to ride in. Uh, these are going to probably make up the majority of what all we have for, for as far as taking care of and riding footage and all that kind of stuff. Thank you. Okay guys, so as you see Ashley here, and I was actually going to explain this, is that uh, because the top pasture is not sand, like the bottom sand pit, we're actually spreading wood shavings here into it. But also the primary reason why I wanted to bring you up here is to discuss our water storage and temporary, <laughs> temporary water storage. <coughs> so as you guys can see here, we got the troughs, but these will be replaced by an actual trough with a trough feeder come this winter. So that's kind of what we're doing here is we're just spreading out wood shavings all along the end to kind of help soak up moisture and to act as like an odor kind of thing to help control odor and just help overall. Okay guys, so last part of this is future additions. <coughs> so last part is future additions. Now where you guys, where I'm standing right now, we're going to put a larger and our year-round primary uh, hay shed. It's going to be a 10 foot by 10 foot by 8 foot uh, hay shed right here. So <clears throat> that's going to be our primary uh, area. Anyways, guys, that's basically all the updates and kind of future projects we got working on or in the uh, works for uh, our suburban homestead. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.